Today we're going to talk about harvesting more than you ordinarily would with cabbage. If you look at this head of cabbage right here, it's ready to harvest and it can be made into coleslaw or what have you. Um, Swedish meatballs, um, if you had enough of them you can make sauerkraut out of them following recipes and such. And many times people will harvest these, they'll cut it off and they'll think they're done. Then they'll tear out all these leaves and the roots, throw it on the compost pile or maybe work it into the garden and that'll be the end of it. However, if you cut this off and leave the roots and the leaves that are there, in about two weeks you'll get something like this. You'll get between four to five heads, and it can vary be a little more, a little less, starting up where the old head was. And as these grow, they'll also form very nice little heads of cabbage that can be used for the same purpose that you use the larger head of cabbage. So I'm going to show you now how I basically cut off the head of cabbage and what it looks like. And you'll see that there isn't much there to really look at. And as time goes on, if you leave it alone, you will get basically another smaller crop afterwards. Here I'm peeling back some of the less desirable leaves. If you look in here, you'll see that basically it doesn't look like anything else is going to come out of this. Um, you don't really see anything much for growth of anything. But if you leave this, in about two weeks you should have some very nice buds popping up out of here that look similar to those and you'll have another crop started for a later fall harvest. Mm -hmm.